Have you been considering creating a vision board? In this video, I'm gonna share with you the power of a vision board, how to create one that actually works, and the real science behind vision boards. Coming up. With the new year here, there's a lot of focus on goals, you know, on New Year's resolutions. This is also the perfect time to think about creating a vision board. But maybe you're wondering what's involved, how do I make one, and how do I create one that actually works? Or maybe you're like me, before I made my first vision board, I was wondering what is the science behind a vision board? You know, are people just saying that they work or is there actual proof? Is there actual science behind why a vision board works? So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. But if we have not met, I am Amber Willems and this is Beautiful Life by Design, where we empower women to be successful entrepreneurs and intentionally build the lifestyle of their dreams. So to make a vision board that works, we first need to understand why they work. Goals and visions are so important in life and in business. You know, in the Bible, there's a proverb that tells us where there is no vision, the people perish. Without goals and visions, we tend to just wander through life, wander through our day. Without goals, it's almost impossible to build a successful business. Great leaders have always had very clear visions and goals. And studies tell us that people that write down their goals are 50% more likely to achieve those goals. Sitting down to create a vision board is a purposeful way to really define what your vision is for your future. It's a very powerful tool for your business. It does three things for you. Number one, it forces you to do some soul searching. It makes you really have to think through what you want to see in your life and then actually put those dreams into pictures. Number two, it works and connects with your brain and your subconscious. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Number three, it also is a daily reminder of those very specific goals and dreams that you have. In actuality, a vision board is a visual representation of your goals and dreams. The unique power that they hold is that instead of a bunch of words, you know, written on a notebook or on a marker board, they are pictures. You know, you could essentially write your goals on a piece of paper and stick them up on the fridge, and that's not a bad exercise, but by going a step further and creating a vision board with images, it is far more powerful. It has been proven that our brain connects much differently with pictures and images than it does with words written out. And this gets into the science behind why a vision board works. But before we get into that, if you are getting value out of this video, please click that like button. And if you are a small business owner and wanting to build your business online, please consider subscribing and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of our episodes. We upload a new training video every week to help entrepreneurs just like you. But back into today's video. So before I started delving into vision boards, I really had no idea that there was any actual science behind how a vision board works. I assumed that they work just because of how setting goals and really defining your dreams is so powerful. But I soon found that it actually goes much deeper than that. One of the reasons why a well-made vision board works so well is because of the science behind how it works with your brain and your subconscious. And when I started hearing about visualization, I thought it sounded kooky. I am the type of girl that needs to see actual science. I need to see real proof. I need to see logic behind why something works. So I promise you, I will not get kooky on you. With modern technologies and our ability to study the brain and energies, we're discovering more about our brain and our body, and we're beginning to understand more how our brain actually works. And a vision board works with your brain in three specific ways. Number one is visual. Number two is with our thoughts. And number three is with our emotions. So we're gonna be covering these three areas and explain how these work with a vision board to connect with our brain and help us produce those things that we want to see in our lives. Scientists have found what they are calling an intention center in your brain. And this center works directly with your action center. So what happens is your brain sees something, it perceives it as an intention, it directly links it with your action center, and these centers working together with your subconscious help produce that thing in your life. And visualization dramatically helps with this. 
this. So this gets into the first way that our vision board works with our brain, and that is through visualization. Now studies have shown us that if you tell the brain what you want just in words, the brain tends to get bored and lazy. But if instead you use pictures and your brain connects with those images, your brain responds with much deeper focus and attention. By this visualization, your brain takes that image and it stores it away as a memory or even as an already accomplished fact. It is crazy what an amazing machine our brain is. By seeing a picture, your brain takes that image and stores it away as something that is now a part of you. Because of this, imagery helps create intention of action. Remember our intention center and our action center. Scientists can now see the reason behind why visualization helps something to actually become true. And athletes have known about this for a long time. You know, think of a figure skater that's wanting to make a specific jump. If she takes the time and really visualizes herself making that jump, she is much more likely to actually land that jump. Visualization in her brain helps her to produce that action. It is exactly the same way with us. God has created our brains in such an amazing way to help aid us and produce good in our lives. And visualization is now seen in science as playing a role in producing future outcomes. So let's get into the second way that a vision board connects with our brain. But before we get into that, you are probably wondering why I am standing outside in the cold and you know there's obviously construction or something going on and you can probably hear plastic flapping around. I'm gonna show you in a minute what my vision board was from last year and some of the results that I had. But a little spoiler alert, this building was on my vision board last year and you can see it is now being built. So I'm gonna show you in a minute what this building is and some of the other results that I had from my vision board. But let's get back into today's video. So the second way that our vision board works with our brain is through our thoughts. You've probably heard the quote, as a man thinks, so is he. And brain studies now show us that our thoughts have the capacity to trigger brain regions and produce the same reaction in our brain as action. So essentially, as far as our brain is concerned, our thoughts can be just as real as our actions. Because of this brain chemistry and connection to our thoughts, we can scientifically say that the quality of our thoughts is directly linked to our actions and experiences. You know, there's a reason the Bible talks so much about our thoughts and paying attention to what we're thinking and feeling. If we work with our brain as it was designed to work, we allow it to help us bring more good into our life and give more good out into our world. There's this chicken that keeps clucking. I don't know if she's laying an egg or what's going on, but I don't think she knows I'm up here filming. If you have been in business or network marketing for any amount of time, you have heard about the law of attraction. That is exactly what this is. The law of attraction simply rewards it in that what you attract, you receive. Science is now being able to prove that visualization can directly affect our experiences because of the way that it connects with our brain. And that leads into our third and final way that a vision board works with your brain, and that is through emotions. And I'm back. I got cold. It is way too cold in Ohio in January to be filming outside. So the third and final way that a vision board works with our brain is through emotion. Studies have shown us that by focusing on an emotion or a feeling, we are actually increasing that emotion. So if I am feeling anxious and I start thinking about how I'm feeling anxious, I am actually increasing that anxiety simply by giving it my attention. Having a vision board encourages positive emotions such as excitement, energy, optimism, determination, inspiration. And I'm gonna show you here how that works. So I'm gonna show you some pictures and you can see for yourself how this science actually works.
So did you notice how your brain and body reacted to those images? When you saw the sad face, you felt heavy and concerned. And when you saw the happy laughing face, you felt joyful and lighthearted. And now nothing actually changed for you, right? You're still in the same place. You know, nothing physically changed for you except that your eyes saw that image and your brain connected to that image. So you can see how powerful pictures are for our brain. And now some of you might be thinking, yeah, but those were pictures of faces. And faces, you know, our brain connects differently with faces and human beings than it does with other things that I might want to put on my vision board. And, and that's somewhat true that your brain does react differently to faces, but the science still holds true for things that are not your face. So let me show you some pictures that are not faces so you can still see how the science works. And I really want you to think about what you're feeling as you're looking at these images. So in the first picture, did you feel calm and wonder and inspiration and awe and stillness? And in the second picture, did you feel concern and worry and anxiety and darkness and fear? This is our brain reacting to visualization and connecting emotion and chemical reaction to them based on our memory and experience. So how does all of this connect with a vision board? What happens is when you see that picture, maybe it's someplace that you wanna go or someone accomplishing that thing that you wanna accomplish, your brain automatically attaches an emotion to that picture. You were likely feeling excited, anticipation, inspiration, and your brain takes that image and that emotion and it files it away as something that is now a part of you. So now whenever you see your vision board and those pictures, your brain will be picking up on those emotions that it had connected to, and it will be working subconsciously to help facilitate those in your life. Also, since your brain now recognizes that image as being a part of you, it automatically has confidence in you that you can achieve it. Because in the brain's eye, it can be as if it is already accomplished. Did you realize how much your brain believes in you and how much confidence it has in you. It is such an incredible tool and in how it was designed to help us. So by working with our brain, by realigning our thoughts and our emotion and aiding it with visualization, you know, a vision board, we are able to harness some of the amazing power that our brain has to help us produce good in our lives and good in the lives of those around us. And I have to say here, that as powerful as visualization is, a vision board only works for people who work. It's a powerful tool, but we have to be producing the action. You know, I can't put on my vision board here that I wanna run a 10K and then never go out and run. It's not gonna happen. It's a powerful tool in helping me to get to that goal of running a 10K, but I have to go out and actually run. It'd be the same as if I said a healthy diet is gonna help me run a 10K, which is very true. A healthy diet gives somebody more energy, helps people that exercise, it's gonna help me run better. But I could have the healthiest of diets, and if I never went out and ran, I would not be able to hit that goal of running a 10K. It's exactly the same way with a vision board. It's a powerful tool. It will help us to reach our goals, but a vision board works with a mind that is ready and willing to let it help us to take action. And we have to take that action. A vision board really helps us in defining our goals and our dreams and with our mindset and with laser focus on those goals and those dreams. But we have to be taking the action necessary to reach those goals. So now that we've talked about the science of a vision board, let's get into the fun part about how to make a vision board. So this is usually the kind of poster board that I get. They're really inexpensive, but you can use any kind of poster board or cardboard. It really just needs to be stiff enough to hang nicely and large enough to hold all your pictures. Now as a side note, some people do use a notebook or they'll make a collage in their computer. And that's a really cool exercise, but it's not really the way a vision board is designed to work. 
To really get the most out of your vision board, you're gonna to want to hang your vision board somewhere where you can see it often, at least once a day. Now, one way that could work is if you put a collage on your phone as your screen, um, because then you will see that often. But it's probably not gonna be large enough to hold all of the pictures that you're gonna to wanna to put on your vision board. Okay, so now you have your blank poster board and you're ready to start creating your vision board. This is where you're really going to want to take some time to think through what it is that you want to accomplish this year. You know, find a quiet place and grab your notebook and start jotting some things down. Maybe have some nice soft music playing and start thinking through what it is that you would like to see in your life this year. Maybe it's places you want to go, things you want to do, things you want to buy. Maybe it's something you want to get really good at. What are things that 10 to 20 years from now, you will look back on your life today and wish that you had gone after this year? We often don't know what it is that we want to accomplish. And we clock in, we clock out, we make a paycheck, we go about our day, and we don't often think about where it is that we're going. The stress and the busyness of life makes it hard for us sometimes to, to quiet all that noise and to really stop and think through these things and listen. And sometimes we haven't yet learned to give ourselves permission to dream. We put ourselves in this little box and we think this is all that we can ever accomplish. We do this especially as moms and as women. And sometimes this comes from low self-esteem. Sometimes this comes from guilt. And sometimes this comes from excuses. You know, I'm not good at this thing, so I cannot go after that big goal, or I'm not in the right situation or live in the right city to go after that big goal. Don't let negativity speak lies into your life. You know, often when we say, I can't do something, we're actually saying, I won't do something. So ground yourself in the truth. Be honest about where you're at, what it is you want to achieve and what steps you you will need to take to get there don't be scared of failure or scared of success and don't be scared of your dreams i dare not allow fear to dictate where i'm going to go in my life and what i'm going to do i dare not give fear that kind of power and a lot of us are allowing others to tell us what our dreams should be you know there's a lot of noise out there there's a lot of voices and there's a lot of people telling us what we should or shouldn't do and this is one reason why i really love vision boards because it gives us a place to get really quiet and listen to what it is that we want to see in our life. You know, this is our life. And there will be people in our life that speak truth to us. And we need to be open and really listen to what they have to say. But in the end, we have to be the ones that are grounded in truth. I truly believe that we are given talents and gifts and dreams for a reason. And this is our life. This is our one chance to go after that thing that really sets our soul on fire and will impact our world. And the more that we align with truth and align with who we were designed to be, the better we will do, the better we will serve our world, and the better that we will love those around us. So back to images for our vision board. As you're thinking about what pictures to put on your board, try to think about various areas in your life, not just business, you know, personal, family, finances, um, relationships, spiritual walk, emotional health, fitness, travel, and the list goes on and on and on. And remember that the more visual you can get, the better that this will work. You can find a picture of someone doing the exact thing that you want to be doing. It can even be, you know, emotions that you envision yourself feeling when you reach that goal. I heard a talk just recently about going back to your earliest memory and finding an image in your mind that reminds you of happiness. So like for me, the earliest memory that I can think of would be my dad took me to this pond. I think it was part of a park and there was this mama duck and her all these little ducklings and I was able to hold one of those ducklings and that feeling of fluffiness and cuteness and just pure joy 
So I think on my vision board for this year, I'm going to have a picture of a duckling or a picture of a little girl holding a duckling just to remind me of that very happy moment. So it doesn't have to be, your images don't have to be like specific concrete things. They can also be emotions that you envision yourself feeling and they can be keywords. You know, maybe you want a word on your board like inspired or excited or joy and a lot of people will choose one word for the year that's going to be kind of the word that they want to define their whole year so you can think through that you know what one word would i like to have define my year and find that word and put it up on your vision board think about quotes or verses that you love choose ones that inspire you and really align with your goal for this year and once you have that whole list together of things to put on your vision board what I like to do is go over to Google and search for pictures that really represent those items for my board. Now, some people like to use magazines and cut out pictures from the magazines, and that can work great. What I personally like about Google is it's much faster for me than having to go through a bunch of magazines. I also don't like the thought of cutting up all my magazines, and it's much easier to get very specific about what it is that I'm envisioning for this particular item on my vision board. And with vision boards, we wanna to try to be as specific as we possibly can. And this is as good a time as any to show you my last year's vision board. So this is my vision board from last year. And by me showing you this vision board, I by no means am saying that you need to do a board just like this or copy anything that I did here. This is just a way to give you some ideas maybe get those creative juices flowing, and to show you the results that I had from this vision board. So just a quick overview, this top corner has a bunch of Wonder Woman things on it. Actually, there's Wonder Woman all over this board. Huge fan, plus it is the name of my team. We're Team Wonder Woman, so it has double meaning for me there. So this corner is about my team and about things I want to implement in my team. I have a picture of a girl running and a quote. I had some fitness and running goals. And if you're wondering what these white blank pieces of paper are, those are covering up some pictures of our kids. We have decided not to post our kids' faces online at this time. So that's just what that is if you're wondering. Um, I also have pictures of me and my husband. I have pictures of me and my sister. And pictures of my family are huge motivation for me because, you know, as a wife, as a mother, as a sister, my family is the biggest reason why I do what I do. So by having their pictures on here, it's a powerful motivation for me. And also a lot of these pictures are representing things that we were able to do and afford because of my hard work. So having their pictures on here and pictures of the things that we were able to do is really powerful for me. Um, and this end ended up being a lot about travel. It kind of ended up being more of a bucket list than a vision board, <laughs> but these were things that I was hoping to save toward last year, so it was um, part of a vision board, but I wasn't planning to go to these places last year. I was just hoping to save toward them. Um, so still very powerful motivation for me to having these pictures on here. I have Italy, I have you know Disneyland, London, and Alaska, and I have a picture of me and my sister here traveling. I did have um, hopes to travel last year. I wasn't expecting to go anywhere as big as Italy or London, but I was hoping to maybe get in some travels. I have some travel down here, me and my husband and me and my sister again. So I did have hopes to travel, but these pictures over here were more representing things that I wanted to save toward last year. Um, at the bottom, I have a picture of a smile with very straight teeth. I have had a gap in my smile ever since I was about 17 or 18 um, so it's bothered me ever since then all these years but I've never really been able to afford fixing it or justify fixing it so I was had put this on my vision board to hope in hopes that I would finally be able to get my smile straightened um, this 3000 was the amount that I was hoping to make monthly I have my YouTube channel I was hoping to get up and running and over here, this is the monthly average income that uh, the different ranks in my company make. And this was motivation for me as I was working toward a specific rank. I could see what the average income was for that specific rank. So a bunch of business stuff on this corner. 
Um, these two women are leaders in the company that I'm with, and one of them is my direct leader. Both of them have very different personalities and styles, but I love them and um, they inspire me. In the very middle here is our dream home. We have been saving and planning and dreaming of this home for over 12 years. And um, it's very hard to build a house of this, this size and this style on just one income. So this is one of our big things that we have been saving toward. We've been trying to do it debt free. And um, so this was on my vision board to finally be able to build our home. At this time, we are living in the basement of our home, hoping to build up, hoping to build this part of it, the house part of it, um, and trying to do as much as we can debt free. So that was on a big one on my vision board to hopefully be able to finally build our home. And so that is my vision board. And I will show you here in a minute what my results were. Once you have all your pictures cut out or printed out, it's time to start arranging them on your board. Now it's best to do this loosely at first before you glue or tape them down, just in case you need to move something around, but you can start arranging them on your board. There's no right or wrong way on how to do this. Some people like to group them together. Some people like to put them, you know, in rows, however you want to do this, whatever speaks to you. And then once you have those all laid out how you like, then you can start gluing them down or taping them down and adding embellishments, maybe some colors that you love, maybe an, a border. You have just created your vision board. Take some time to really take in your board. When I first made a vision board, I was surprised what a spiritual thing it was for me as I was sitting there praying over my board, praying that it would be used for good, praying that it would bless my family. I was surprised what an emotional experience it was. And then at the end of the year, when I took the board down and was reflecting over all of our experiences and all the rich things that had come into our life that year, I was just overwhelmed with gratitude. And I'm going to show you what happened this year, the results of my vision board from this past year. So this is that building that was on my vision board. I'm going to show you inside. This is our house. As I look at these pictures and all these things that came into our life in one year, I am just so humbled and so grateful for all these blessings. And I know for a fact that some of these would not have happened if they had not been on my vision board. So I'm just going to explain a few of these to you. The top pictures of shoes are some 5Ks that I ran. I had the goal of running more. And one really cool thing that came out of this was my oldest son, he decided he was going to run with me. And he found out that he's actually pretty good at it. And he's the type of kid that isn't huge on exercise, but he found that he loves running because he went with me on my 5Ks. And he just made his vision board for this coming year and he put some 5Ks on his vision board. So it was really cool to see that my goal um, transferred over to him and now he has a passion for running as well. Over here, my husband and I went on a cruise. We had a trip in Florida. We actually drove down to the end of the Keys, had a wonderful time there. We were able to see one of the seven wonders of the world on the cruise. Down here is my a picture of my email that I got when I ordered my aligners. My teeth are getting straightened finally. Um, this is one that I know for a fact would not have happened without my vision board. Um, this is something I've wanted for years and years and years and I just really couldn't justify it. It seemed kind of petty to care so much about one lost tooth, one missing tooth. So um, I am so was so excited to get those and finally get that straightened. Down here, I went on a getaway with my mom for her birthday. Um, this was an event that we were able to do with our kids. 
Um, we were able to afford, they are huge Ninja Warrior fans, and they were able to participate in an event. This is my YouTube channel. Finally got going um, the end of this past year. It is up and running, as you can see, because you're watching this video. Um, this is a cruise I went on with my sisters. So, I had a picture right here of me and my sister um, in past year, that a, a, a trip that we went on several years ago. And that was one of my hopes that we could go on a trip as sisters. And this is all three of my sisters and me. We were able to go on a cruise. And this is another trip that uh, me and my youngest sisters went on. Got my passport for the first time last year. This is me meeting my leader at a conference. This is me um, at a leader's um, event at that conference. I was able to meet some of my team. Um, and this is how our house was last year, the beginning of last year. We were living down in the basement. We actually still are in the basement at this point, but this is how it looked for years and years. We lived down in the basement. Um, it's more spacious and um, practical than it looks there, but that is where our home was for many, many years as we hoped and saved to build up debt-free. Um, but this is what happened in January. The roof came off. Sorry about the glare there. And my husband started framing up the first walls. And the walls were being built. And our house was finally framed up this past year, after years and years of dreaming and hoping and planning, we're finally building our dream home. So all of these pictures and all of these things that came into my life, I'm just so extremely grateful for. You know, before this year, this past year, we had not been able to go on many vacations. We had not been able to frame up our home. We could not afford a lot of these things. But this past year, we, you know, I went on two cruises. We had that big trip in Florida. I was able to go on getaways with my husband and also that birthday getaway with my mom. We were able to afford fun things with the kids. Um, it's just been incredible. It's been such a blessing and I just feel so humbled and so grateful um, for all of these rich things that came into our life a vision board is a place of gratitude, excitement, and joy. And one tip I want to give you that I had to learn the hard way is to not stress about it if things don't happen as quickly as you'd like or in your time frame. When Steve Harvey was talking about his own vision board, he said that the road to success is always under construction. And that is so true. Sometimes we have to take detours. Sometimes our visions don't come true in one year. You know, we can't really put our dreams in a 12 month box. You know, of course we can have that as a goal and work toward that. But if we do that and it doesn't come true in a year, that's okay. It might be that it was meant to happen next year. There's definitely been things in my life that I had wanted to happen more quickly. And then later on, I was able to look back and see, I wasn't ready for those things yet. And you know, life is not about being happy once we reach a destination or once we reach a goal. We need to be happy in today. We need to be grateful for today, for this moment, for where we are right now. And all the experiences, all the skills, and all the lessons that we have learned. In the Bible, there's a verse that I love that is describing a wise woman. And it says that she smiles at the future. And that's what I want this vision board to do for you. I want you to see your board and all those goals and those dreams and all those amazing things. And I want you to smile. And that's it for this video. If you would like more help in designing your vision board, we have a free resource of 50 questions to ask yourself when creating a vision board. And I will link that in the description below. I am so excited for this year and I can't wait to see your vision boards. I will see you all in the next video. The sunshine is deceiving. It is not that warm.